Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today is another Thumpin' Thursday with my boy, Greg Coates. Woo -woo! And we got a really cool one. Uh, Norm and I uh, went out last week, I think it was Thursday, and bought some really cool stuff. And this is one of them. Let's check it out. It's a 1968 Fender P bass. Really cool. It's a blonde, to like a blonde translucent f uh, finish, actually. It's not white faded. It was actually made blonde, and it's one piece. You can see on the back that it's one wow. solid piece of wood. Very, very, very rare. That is uh, insane. It's, Look yeah, at yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so it's. You so can, nice. like, see the grain. Yeah, and, and it the, never stops because mm -hmm. it's all one. It got little marks here. Belt buckle. Rockstar action. But really good straight grain uh, neck, and it has a maple cap fingerboard, which makes it even more rare. That's a, you know, an actual cap, no skunk stripe on the back, if you remember seeing that. Um, but this has a maple cap and a really good looking, really well maintained frets, which yeah, show. Look at that fretboard. Yeah, it's, it's really in, in great shape. Again, this is also a nice straight grain piece of maple on the fingerboard as well. Um, nice narrow uh, nut width, is similar to a jazz bass, not quite as narrow, um, and it's got all original. has all the all the covers, the bridge cover and the pickup cover, um, thumb bar, original pick guard, and it actually has um, the original pickups in it, which measure out about almost 11k. So even though they're high output, this bass has a really smooth, buttery sound. I expected it, it to be much more aggressive than what it actually sounds like, because the maple maple usually has that kind of angry piano string sound. You can get that out if you play it hard enough, but it's got this really buttery, round, clear tone, and it's uh, a lot of it, I would imagine, because of the one-piece body and, and yeah. the way that the neck is made. But it, in really great shape. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be... It seems to have been played a little bit, but not abused. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's so a really, really nice instrument. cool. Yeah, we got Good this. weight, too. Yeah. It was about nine pounds, I think. Yeah, I it's about. not heavy. Um, but really, really cool instrument. And also, we're going to switch up the amp today. It's my doing. Um, we're going to try to go through an amp peg. Uh, it's got some tubes in it, and I believe it actually belonged to the Bob Dylan team at one point. Not for sale, but... Well, you never know. Talk to Norm. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but uh, hopefully uh, the bass travels a little bit more. So if you're watching the Thumpin' Thursday videos, we suggest maybe headphones or a speaker, because, um, you know, a lot of that low end is not going to get captured through your computer uh, speaker. Yeah. Um, Bluetooth, but, Bluetooth devices, headphones, in ears, yeah, you can really hear. You'll hear a lot of the top end on a phone, but if you put it, put headphones in or through a Bluetooth system or just a stereo, you'll hear it a lot better. You'll hear what's really going on. Yeah, you're going to get that low end, and uh, hopefully this amp pushes a little bit more, but we're uh, definitely trying to keep this th Thumping Thursday popping, so uh, if you have any suggestions, let us know. Yes. Um, Greg, yeah. will you do the honor? Oh, this thing's beautiful. Of course I will. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Greg Coates here at Norman's Rare Guitars. Today I have a 1968 Fender Precision Bass in see-through blonde. It's a one-piece body. Incredibly wow. rare. So cool. I mean, you usually can't get this unless you get something custom-made. Um, beautiful figure in the, in, the, in the neck. Super straight grain. And it has a cap, maple cap fingerboard. Very, very, very rare. Um, nice lightweight, about nine pounds, I believe. Uh, everything on its original it has all the all the covers, everything there, um, thumb bar, pick guard, everything original. Um, has a pickup that's about 10.77k, so it's pretty high output, pretty hot, but it's got a really warm, warm sound for you know, something with a maple cap or a maple fingerboard like this. So uh, this is a pretty rare, pretty rare instrument. It's 1968, like I said, beautiful uh, black case with red in interior. Uh, yeah, and, and it has that really, really, really nice round, narrow, close to a jazz bass spacing at the nut. Um, yeah, and very, very little signs of any kind of playing at all, and the frets look great, like highly polished. I don't see any kind of grooves or marks in them at all. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how it sounds. I'm going to run it through a few songs here.
SVT today, so we thought we'd move a little air so people could hear a little bit clearer. Uh, one thing I wanted to say before we get too far along is it really helps with the basses to maybe hear it through a Bluetooth device or headphones because you can kind of, it's hard to hear it on the phone with the tiny little speakers what's actually going on because we're definitely moving some air in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing really really comfortable uh, narrow space and close to a jazz bass a little bit wider maybe a one and five eighths I think nut spacing on this um, but it's got a fresh set of stainless steel strings on here so it's pretty bright right now so one thing I like about maple fingerboard P basses is that it's got that kind of pianoish sound That's with everything wide open. Um, I think the, the cover over the pickup adds a little bit of a mid-range kind of to it, which is kind of nice. But even, even when you roll the tone all the way back on these, it still has that, that buttery but clear kind of sound. One piece body, uh, see-through blonde. It's not white. It's actually see-through blonde. <laughs> it didn't age this way. It was actually made this way, and it's looking great. The fingerboard, though, being the uh, the uh, not a slab fingerboard, but the uh, cap. cap. Excuse me. Thank you. Cap fingerboard. Frets are in great shape. It's got a great feel to it. Really friendly. Really friendly spacing at the nut. Nice and light high output pickup this is a gem and a really rare p-base give you do yourself a favor and check this one out if you get a chance all right thanks a lot <laughs>